Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a continuation of the last recording session because I crashed the game with a handcart. Get over here. So, same same people. Got Wybold, got Tyler. Our, uh, our junior and senior technical advisor, possibly, maybe. Woo! Get over if, here. If we do end up doing that, I may be willing to adjust a record time to fulfill that prophecy. Because, uh, I, mean, I don't. I don't know that that's workable, though. No, that's fair. And I, I thought you were going well, to... I guess, I I guess in say, fairness... I don't know if I want to do that, and I was going to be like, I mean, yeah, fair. I'm, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know that I would, but... In fairness, if there is a period where that would be workable, this upcoming period would be that. Because I will no longer have homework. That's true. I will have a fairly consistent schedule from here on. Whereas school was sort of peaks and valleys and really there's always something to be working on yeah this I, uh, with work i will at least have like these are my hours and i stick to those hours pretty rigidly make it more not, rigid until you don't not totally rigidly but pretty rigidly i already did the thing tyler cool do the thing did the thing you said the words oh yeah you really did the thing okay. i did the thing yeah we're ready. Thunk. Bonk. Horny jail. Bonk. Victorian jail. Victorian jail. There we go. Alright, there you go. We were, talking, we were talking about uh, Ren fairs and like historical clothing before the, uh, the episode started filming mm -hmm. again. Hey, I need to throw this in the uh, group chat, but I just, I realized something that... Uh, which group chat? Uh, the, uh, the one with Heiss. Oh, like oh the, should... the one I'm not in, sad. Yeah, Re well, I'm, I'm sorry. It is, it is, uh, it's a four-player experience that I just came up with that I think everyone there would be, uh... Uh-oh. Insane Monopoly. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we have I was... to play Insane Monopoly. We need to. <laughs> yes. I was... The, yeah, no, I, I've been wanting to pull together a crew to play in Say Monopoly ever since I discovered it existed. I bet you could interest Mark in doing Insane Monopoly, because he could probably get some videos out of it. We'd have to spend an entire day. We'd have we, to would have, we would have to block, like, six hours out to play Insane Monopoly. Yeah. Um, but... Oh, God. I, I was looking at it... I was looking at my student library, and I was like, oh, why don't I have this installed? Oh, it's because I never installed it on my new computer. Um, I was hoping I would come up with a name while I vamped myself, but I cannot remember what it's called all of a sudden. The the game where you run along and you build tracks in front of your train. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. I see? Or it's online. <laughs> yeah, I know the I... one you're talking about, yeah. Um, Shit. What is that called? Unrailed. Unrailed, thank you. Yes, that. We should absolutely play Unrailed. Uh, Mark has Unrailed. I have played it with him before. I can't remember if we've played with Leighton before. I haven't, uh... I, I honestly can't believe Mark hasn't done some Unrailed for videos, because... Yeah. I haven't played it since the last time we played it. Which is why it's not installed. But, mm. um... Oh, what the hell was I going to say? Uh, something, something, unrailed is fun. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et blah, blah, Davenport, blah, blah, blah Pearl, blah, Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Yes. Oh, because uh, it made me think, oh, if Leighton has to buy unrailed for it. But, I mean, we bought Machinki for the last game. Also true. And, I mean, unrailed is what, two bucks? I thought it was more than that. I thought it was Is it? It might it might be ten bucks. I thought it was a but, it was a, it's a cheap game. He's not buying like the latest Call of Duty or whatever. <laughs> but really, we should do no, never mind. Uh, whatever, whatever the kids play these days. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say how. So I made a full game of Jeopardy. Okay. Six. Like a full episode of Jeopardy. Yeah, like. 12 categories in two blocks, two daily doubles, a final Jeopardy. And I went to go add it on the site, and I realized, oh, you have to pay money to add another category? And I went, well, the lifetime membership's only 20 bucks. Oh, good Christ. If, oh, my if God. I, if, because 
the vote for the Wednesday special for this month is going on right now, and it might be Rhode Island Railroad's Jeopardy, which means I'm going to go and buy at least a short subscription to this website so I can make this happen. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, the brakes for the caboose were on. What, uh, what do we want our ruling grade up to the coal mine to be? 2%. Okay. Um, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Is that a good number to ignore? <laughs> so, so you built an entire line before. Without, without asking that question. And now you <laughs> ask. Now you're concerned. Yes. Ellis, you are a savior. <laughs> As I yeah. said, now that I know what number to ignore. <laughs> we go up there and it's just going straight up the side of the mountain. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, we were talking about the, the Pikes Peak Cog engine. I got a little carried away. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, I have the drawings. <laughs> God. I have the engine. I do, that's true. So, meh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when are you getting number four? Uh, we're not getting number four. You have number four, actually. Yeah, for how long? <laughs> um, probably for quite a while. Woo! Because kind of those kinds of things run again. <laughs> those kinds of things take a lot of money to move, and Manitou already has one for display. So, bleh. time to <laughs> time to bribe Kyle to fire it up. Mango it's gobbles. Cut. It had a form four. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did it actually? What? Is the cog FRA? Um, that's actually a really good question. They have one is. great cross. Well, that's Isn't not a that great a crossing, though. Well, it's not. It's not private. I think it's forest service, but I don't know if it's actually a great crossing or if it's just the road sort of comes up to the track and then stops. I don't know if the cog is FRA. By the way, she did have a boiler certificate. I mean, yeah, she she would have a state certificate if she wasn't FRA. Mm -hmm. Which means I don't I don't know if they're FRA. That's that's an interesting question. Quick, we should find a friend. Wait, we don't have any cock people. <laughs> Put the brakes on. No, we need to leave this engine here. We have we have right, Jimmy. Fine. Jimmy watches like a lot of Mark's content. Oh yeah, that's J fair. J Jimmy, Dusty's friend from the cock. <laughs> oh yeah, and this joke, this joke that will never fucking die. I remember the first time that that phrase was uttered to me. It's just like, wait a minute, Jimmy, the friend from the cog. It's yeah, it's Dusty's just friend from the cog. It's just one of these things that you, I feel like I will never get an explanation, or like whatever explanation there may exist will never be quite satisfactory to explain why this is a meme, but it'll I mean, just get repeated over and over again. The the explanation is not even really that enlightening or interesting. It's literally just that Dusty... The meme is, oh yeah, Jimmy, Dusty's friend from the COG. The meme being that every time, for the longest time, that Dusty would say anything about Jimmy, he would go... He wouldn't identify him as Jimmy. He would say, my friend from the COG. <laughs> because he, I guess he just assumed we didn't know who Jimmy was, despite the fact that we've all met and hung out with Jimmy quite a bit. <laughs> so now every time that we talk about Jimmy, it's not just Jimmy, it's, oh, Dusty's friend from the cog? Yeah, Jimmy, Dusty has a friend Jimmy, from the Dusty's cog? Yeah, Jimmy! But that is that is the explanation. It is not nearly as interesting as you might hope it is. Well, no, that's what I mean. I'm sure it would never be that interesting. It's just going to be like, yeah, yeah. we... This is, this is, uh, this is what he was called, or this is what this we is call just, him, and this is what gets repeated, so it's going to get repeated over and over again every time. This is just, this is just what Dusty decided, <laughs> decided to identify him as. Like, like Flint Coal. Yes. Alright, and brakes. There. And now I will shut this door to the engine house that Tyler hates. Okay, Cursed so land that what is. do we need to do next? 
really. I'm laying a 3% grade right now, so... What? <laughs> Tyler, should okay, we, we need to murder these, somebody. Should we fill these cars up? Uh, maybe? Like, we could, yes, but at the same time, um... I'm not sure... I don't think we have any other use for them right now. Well, we could grab stuff from the smelter. No, we should... I, I think the smelter is empty. I think we emptied the smelter last time, which is why this, this cut of cars was over at the uh, the freight house. Hold on, yeah, stop, stop here okay. because there's two, there's multiple things that we need to be doing. Um, we need to fill these cars up. I'm pretty sure that's number one, and number two is we need to grab these two cars of rails because they need to go to the coal mine. All right. Eventually. Tell me when I'm cleared back up. You're clear to back up. Okay. For fuck's sake. I just crashed out of the server. Ah! Oh no. Alright, hold on. Haha, the free percent doesn't like you! Well, fuck it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Nature it is telling me to. Nature Build is telling me to. Build 2%. No. no. Fuck. <laughs> you can't make me. I'm building organic track, remember? Nature is telling me it wants 3%. Jesus Christ. Nature is telling you he doesn't want to rear it here. Uh, you say that. I will, just to aside to the stuff that we were talking about before, um, Glory just wrote me back and said, finally someone gets it. The Victorian greenhouse thing? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally someone gets it. Yeah. Oh god, the Lorax! <laughs> You see, I just... I, I want to see why we'll use this this natural uh, natural rarity in a desert environment. Upcoming map? You know, question mark. I feel like it's easier in a desert environment. Until there's no agua. I will I will drop you in Chase Creek, and we will see how you do. I'm in. Hmm. Build, simply build like a track. <laughs> and then we shall add in the floods. Simply simply build track. Yeah, we I need come, to have... Can we have seasonal floods? I come floods from the game? college that built the Moffat Road. There is no bounds to the madness. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, you've got, like, two cars, one car, half a car. Stop. Right, let's load this up. And then, uh, meanwhile, while I load these cars, if you want to, uh, figure out how to get the two, figure out how to get the, uh, the things, those, those two cars on the front of this train. Oh, yeah. You're probably gonna need to use Betsy. Alright, I will, I will go do that. You can I'll do the boring have fun loading. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing why why do I as the uh, person who records things always choose to do the boring part? Yeah, we should have oh. had a Braden cam yesterday. Oh yeah, right. Again, me just popping over being like, Thank you for my caboose. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. Uh, while we were talking about if we have two caboose or not, we finally bought a second one on the community map and Tyler immediately appropriated it as his yard office. Well, because I bought it. <laughs> It's Very mine. Nice. It's my hidey hole. Comrade, it is our railroad. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Doubt. That yard is my commune. <laughs> it's not much of a commune when it's a, a mine yune. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, you still call it a commune. Look, I, I was indoctrinating Brayden. Brayden still has loyalty to the rest of the railroad. So mm, no, he did actually. That was Brian that gave me the engine. Yeah, uh, the other the engine which you stole. No, they just gave it yeah. to me. No, not how. No, that's not how that went. <laughs> they just, uh, they gave I'm it pretty to sure me. my standing orders were that engine needs to come back to the sawmill, uh, or some such thing. 
And then well, it uh, he gave never it left the falls yard because someone decided it was theirs. Look, I'm not sure what else I can tell you besides they gave it to me. Cool. Okay. Right, I'm gonna load this up. Oh crap, I keep positioning these cars in the worst possible spot. I would like to load two cars at once instead of one car with two cranes, but that's not happening. Um, I don't know what your plan is here, but I, does it involve the re-rail tool? <laughs> That's actually not a bad shout, but at the same time, no. don't we have a, uh, yes, let me put the porter right behind the, the cookie. <laughs> not again. <laughs> yes, yes, again. <laughs> Uh, da, da. If you back up after this, um, and then kind of finagle, I will there. need to back up quite a substantial amount. The thing is, we don't have like storage over here. Everything's just stored on the the yard or the uh, loading tracks. Yeah. Except for the, the two tracks of storage, which are helpful, but facing the wrong way. And then oh, a are bunch you of in Lionelville? Houses. Yes. Yeah, we're in Lionville. I'll, uh, I'll put out an order that we need to destroy those tracks immediately. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Nothing, nothing can be helpful. Nothing. I'm going to, I'm going to finally like draw a map of Lionelville and I'll come on the next day and you will have rebuilt the whole thing. Yes. Yes, indeed. The first gift of Christmas. This bell is a wonderful symbol of the spirit of Christmas, as I am. Just remember, the true spirit of Christmas lies in our hearts. Merry Christmas! Cue Steven Tyler, yeah. about 30 seconds to departure. Get the fire up, kill the blower. <laughs> Rogging on top of the world. You don't need to do this right world. now, it's May. Why, well, it's May, it's okay, you're just having one of your flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it was Christmas. horrible. You've got a long way till Christmas. It's okay. Christmas. <laughs> I mean, you've got a long way till uh, that time. Okay, okay, but Ellis, consider. Consider. Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I'll consider Christmas. it, but don't say that in front of Leibold. Why did... Where did... Oh my god. Where? I'm gonna pull forward like two inches. Christmas in July. Stop, ah! saying, the, stop saying the C word. I feel like that's not the C word. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Clearly the C word is canola. Oh, yeah, because canola oil is. Yeah. Okay. Back or rib. Well, I mean, the other name for canola oil. Is not any better. Yeah. In fact, it's much worse. It's it's definitely worse than the word canola. We'll say that much. Yeah. Somebody, I was watching a uh, a British YouTuber a while ago, and he identified it as that other thing, and I had never heard that before, and I had no idea what the fuck he was talking okay, about. Stop. I was rather concerned. Yeah. No, I would be too if I didn't know what that was. Okay. And then... I mean, I know what it is. I didn't know it was a seed. I Go for it. it. <laughs> yeah. Some people are going to not know what we're talking about, and that's okay. That's fine. No means no, kids. No means no. If you don't want canola oil, you don't need to have canola oil. You don't need to have canola oil. No means no. If you don't want to use the uh, the new biofuel. The new... You don't the need new kids. Uh... <laughs> The, the new organically grown mountain pass. <laughs> new organic mountain pass. I'm actually okay. excited for this line. That's good. Uh, wait a minute. Betsy's gonna be in the middle of the train. 
No, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push these onto your cut. Wait a minute. Why do I have ants on the back of me? Why do I have one of uh, these cards? Because I need enough room. It's it's kind of a tight corner, but nature more. told me to, so. But nature told me to. Alright, I'll pull up more. Yeah, pull up a little bit more. And, uh. Pull up this small roller coaster segment. Pull. Which, I've been watching a bunch of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 videos, or Open RCT 2 videos, oh. and it made, me forg it made me remember just how much fun that game is, and I really want to play Roller Coaster Tycoon again now. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where I already have too many games to play, um, but theme parks. But theme parks. Yeah. Jesus. Life is... <laughs> Life is interminable suffering and blah blah blah, whatever that meme is. Oh look, a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, a roller coaster. I mean... It's just one of those things where, I mean, even Chris Sawyer himself admitted that his distraction from making Locomotion or Transport Tycoon 2 was a sudden fascination about roller coasters and wanted to make a, you know, wanted to make what became Roller Coaster Tycoon. And so, mm. maybe that's just happening to me. Maybe that's the life cycle of all farmers. Maybe <laughs> at some point you just really like roller coasters. Just, that's a thing. Oh, I just realized that that... Oh, stop. I know, I know. I also just realized that that was kind of a really stupid place to put them in the train. I should have had you take the other the hopper. in between the two hopper cars? Yes. Yeah, I just realized <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, we got switching to do when we get to... Uh, we have switching to do anyways. Also true. Ah oh, crap, I just I just fell up I just fell through the floor of the cab. Congratulations. Great congratulations, you are being rescued. Please Congratulations! Do not resist. Please do not resist. So yeah, congratulations. Oh crap, I'm stuck in the car and it's Well, You've goodness. redefined your legacy. Congratulations. Aha, there we go. We have a full train. We just... Okay, you want to see the... The... God. No, I can't oh, remember God what you want to go it. and see. Well, go and see him. A bunch of freaks are... <laughs> across the street, a bunch of freaks are playing Coliseum. Oh, you want to see the province of democracy? Then go and see him. Ah. Thank you. Uh, you already? Nope. Uh, the switch is oh. not set at the back of the train and Hoggle's upside down to the ground. Yay! You know, it's fine. At least it's not in the lake. Yeah, I forgot what you Do you want me that. to put it in the lake? No, I don't. I very much don't, actually. How about I do anyway? Okay, I'm stuck in this car now. Thankfully, it's rolling. It will free me. There we go. When the Weibold runaway problem happens to you. It can happen to you. Know the signs. Yeah. It could be you. It could be me. It could even be... Boom! Isn't it obvious, brother? He was the red spy! <laughs> <laughs> Watch him, man, Randy Savage! What are you doing back here so soon? Oh my god. A locomotive named Slim Jim. <laughs> Slim oh, Jim! Yeah. I want the Class 70 to be named Slim Jim. I think that's what engine. we need to do. Alright, half a car. Plonk. There's one, keep going, you're almost at the boost. Oh, uh, the boost is helpfully rolling back towards the train. Thunk. Alright, cool. Uh, you are free to go forward now. Hasta la vista! There we go. How long can the bridge blinds go for? Quite a bit. Yeah, like longer than, longer than uh, sanity. I don't know. Oh wait, fuck. Oh crap! We didn't throw the switch back. 
Man, this is like the contest that I would put together before an operating session and people would be mad at me for it. I once had two cars of loaded lumber that were going to an industry on the Providence Northern and they were at opposite ends of the train and uh, I caught hell for that. Like, why would you not put them together? It's like, well, uh, I, I didn't use the five finger switch to put together the trains for the operating session. I used like regular train driving. I and, used uh, a locomotive. That, that meant I was lazy. And so the trains are in sort of a weird order. You mean you switched like switching is done? Yeah. Oh, it's going on what this train? Okay, Why did the yard not train. put it this way? Because lazy. <laughs> there was an op session today, and I was actually going to have... One of our fans was going to come down and be a part of it, and then he said he didn't have time anymore. So I was like, uh, well, I don't need to go to the op session then. I don't really feel like it. Sad. But it was the... Um, it was a fellow who actually recognized us on Operation Apollo while we were at the uh, Seashore Trolley Museum. Fun. Oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who uh, did the movie night put on Tidfield Thunderbolt. Okay, nice job, Tyler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I hate Lionelville. <laughs> Lionelville hates you. Oh, oh no! it, it sure does! It sure does. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what happened? Well, Mermashave is now upside down. Oh. It's generally not supposed to be like that. No. It says right there on the can you're supposed to keep it upright after opening. Oh my god. Alright, let me move, uh, let me move Yeah, you know, we have, we have sort of a, a base metric on the railroad by which to accomplish things. Uh -oh. That being, keep the, uh, shiny side up and the dirty side down. Oh, it's a steam engine. Both sides are dirty. You, you two yeah. have failed, regardless, you two have failed that. <laughs> okay, Where and? Separate it is. Well, nothing, that's, that's it. Apparently, I was holding a piece of wood that whole time. Why doesn't it want to align with the uh, the, the tracks? Uh, it, it is on my screen, so back. back oh, okay. Right. Right. Well, Extra that. trip and beef works. Yeah, I mean, oh my uh, god, you know what this allows us to do, though? Put the train in the right order? Yes. Yeah, that's what I was We're thinking. doing the five-finger switching now. What are you talking about? It's been like that the whole time. It's fine. Okay. Well, we yeah, got, of uh, course. We got that attached. The tender still looks like it's moonwalking, but that's fine. Um, we definitely want to put the empty light cars at the front of the train, right? That's what uh, it says in my, We're going to my... be running on flat terrain until the yard, so I don't think we need to care too much. Well, I was just saying, that's what uh, it says, what it in, says in, my, in my Norfolk Southern guidebook. <laughs> You're no, no, the MPs go in the middle. The CSX edition. Bruh. Get on the tracks. Wetzel's pretzels. Now I want some Wetzel's pretzels. It's I've good. never had them, but I want them. Yeah. It's good stuff. It, it's but, basically Auntie Anne's. Yeah, I was in the mall the other day and I saw Auntie Anne's and I was like, oh, yeah, the Auntie Anne's. I, I'm aware of this. This is good. But I didn't get any because I'm trying to... I don't really want a dad bod yet. I don't feel like I'm ready for that. And I'm getting there. <laughs> At least yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm getting really, there. I'm really sneaking up on it. <laughs> and by that I mean I'm like... I'm on the doorstep going, Hey, let me in! I got beer! <laughs> That's how it goes! Ellis, right, exactly. can you confirm if 424 is... On the track or now? Uh, it's not. Okay. So we need one more person. I figured. Everything's rolling on my screen, so I'm not sure if it's Some of actually the stuff is rolling. Okay. Oh, now it oh cool. Like that fixed it. Is the brake on? No. Is this brake on? Yes. That explains. That explains a lot. 
Okay, go forward. Go forward? Oh crap, okay. I missed, I missed grabbing the thing. Now what? Stop. And Nothing, we're just gonna... First let these hitch up and then I'm gonna get that air side set up. You can... We're so good at this game. I mean, once again, I'll come back to the, the people that I selected. I really thought this would be a, uh, a real stand-up railroad. Apparently, this is well, a real tip-over railroad. <laughs> I was going to say, well, it depends how you define stand-up. Yeah. Stand-up stand comedy, yeah. Stand-up comedy. Look, I rolled over my own locomotive. Yeah, you, you killed your son. How do you feel? Absolutely fine. Hey, so, Wybold, we found another problem with Lionelville, which is that this turn is too tight. Are you going to come here and, like, tighten it some more? <laughs> yes. Okay, fair enough. Asking, on, I mean, asking you shall Yeah, the cars receive. are actually... So distraught over that. Oh. What? That hoppers. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. <sighs> Why? Yes? No. I mean, yes, but no. More like, why would you do this? No, I, I can't do that. I'm doing something else. Yeah, I mean, kind of wish you hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lionel is, a, not Lionelville is a masterpiece. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I wanted, I, I was inspired by the works of whoever it was that made Tetris. My God. You know, for the Soviet Empire. Union. <laughs> I am the man who arranges the blocks. Okay, stop. Okay, now that Iron it. Horseman Radio running 24-7 is a thing, uh, I've listened to that more often than I have in like the last five years. Uh, oh, they oh, oh. come down and I spin them around till they fit in the ground like hand in glove. Are we good back here? I think so. Okay. Well, all ahead slow. Bop, bop. Do they do they yell all ahead slow at you during polar as well? No. They should. We we've stopped stopping or we've stopped stopping for caribou. We used stopped to do that. Stopping. We used to stop for caribou. We don't do that anymore. They just run them straight over. Yep. I mean, since they took them off the endangered species list, species list, there really isn't a problem here. Fuck, fuck them, caribou. I like caribou jerky. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Oh, I just got an order for two packs of trading cards. Ooh, cool. Flory says, "Make sure you're here," so I may have to, and I may have to cut this one short. Oh yeah, what time is it? It's uh, five it... of nine. Okay. Um. I assume that means there's some, like, creepy dude that's at the gas station. Okay. I'm Is... almost to a good stopping point. In a couple minutes, I will be. All right. I'm just I'm just logging right now. I'm just gonna watch the train from back here. Yeah, we will be getting the uh, the entire CRM active roster as trading cards. Cool. So yeah, that's unfortunately uh, 20s card will sort of. belong to Gloria and Gloria alone, and you'll have to negotiate to get one off of her. But you know, <laughs> let me let me put in another order. <laughs> Is, uh, does 91's card have a style point that still has its rear grand flues in it? Uh, oh I... my god. I'm not sure that's a style point, but I haven't written no. them, I haven't written them out for uh, for ninety one yet. 
That's the, uh... You see, it's a style point to us. To the FRA, it's... You fucking hubris. Yeah. It's, to the FRA, it's a concernment point. Yeah, well, we're not FRA, so... Yes, you are. No, we're not. <laughs> Brett Weifold, FRA. Yeah, you, uh, you personally, why FRA. Are, why have I that title on the other surfer? <laughs> you noticed! Oh, you finally noticed! <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed, like, two days ago, I'm like... Why am I? Why? <laughs> okay, so, so, I mean, I I took from a, a long, long time ago when you were talking about joining the feds, but right. uh, I was writing the ending of the Housatonic, and part of that is an inspector shows up to make sure, a la Titfield Thunderbolt, an expect an inspector shows up to make sure that they're running the train right, right, right. and I, in my first draft of the scene, I had the guy introduce himself as Brett Weibold, FRA. Uh, <laughs> and I took a snip of that and I posted it in the writing channel, and I was like, I'm, I'm having fun with this one. And then I went back uh, and changed it, because I didn't... I, I had other plans for the scene and who that person really was. But, right. you know, that apparently just became a meme unto itself, which, is, of course, <laughs> is a revival of you wanting to join the feds many years ago. Right. Uh, and then getting noticed by the feds recently yeah and you noticed by the feds recently you're you're you had something going on i forgot exactly but i have federal agents outside my house <laughs> with with the museum you mean yeah wasn't there something about when you're about to graduate that one of them was oh oh yeah that's yes that's right that wasn't with the museum, though. That was... Okay, yeah. But, yeah, so then then Tyler was like, no, we need to gotcha. have fun with this. And so then he gotcha. changed your name on the other server. Uh, yeah. I noticed, I have like, a couple weeks ago that I had earned a title on the other server and just didn't bother to check what it was, and then noticed that that was it a little while later. It was like, why is... Th okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, if I yet? Floof. I should really just bring Ellis into that server so we can spread the gospel. Which which server is this? The narrow gauge server? Yeah. Oh. I mean I'm not sure I'm qualified. I mean uh I'm Graham's biting my tongue hard. Okay. There are, there are a lot of just random farmers in there. <laughs> oh, okay. It always seemed like a very exclusive club to me. I don't know. It was, and that is no longer the case. <laughs> well, it it hasn't been that case for quite a while. It hasn't, but yeah, that it is. It, it is you'd not a be like. A oh yeah, there are, there are a lot of just random foamers in there. So it's much so that we've tossed club. around ideas of creating the narrow gauge inner circle rather than <laughs> just the narrow gauge circle. I mean, you should have the narrow gauge circle and then just some chats. You know. Well, we don't. Are... We don't want to. We don't want to like segregate oh it and everything. We don't want to go quite that far. I mean, having a, a second, having a second server for that, just, just that well, to be extreme. Well, yeah, but then people don't know that they're being left out. <laughs> when you give ranks and say, you know, okay, you don't have access to these channels at this rank, that feels bad, as opposed to just, oh, it was in a different server. I mean, I don't know about you, but that definitely also feels bad. I mean, yeah, but what, what people don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> We probably Until should have pulled into a different track. Eh. Ramming oh, speed? No, we've got to end it off here anyway. Are you at a okay. good stopping I'm point? I will be in 30 seconds. Okay. I've almost... I've graded and logged a certain section and I'm laying track on the last little bit now. I'm almost to the end of what I've graded, though. So we're, uh, we're just going to burn another 30 seconds. I'm almost there. If you want to start the outro, go ahead. What out? I mean, thanks don't for doing joining outro? us on the... I mean, not I mean, not really. We don't usually do, like, a formal outro. Uh, thanks I for joining we did. us on the, on the bacon. Jesus Christ! I was tabbed into the menu saving, and then I clicked back, and Tyler's just, like, you know, doing the thing. Uh-huh. Staring Good. in the face. Good. I'm glad. Anyway, uh, bottom line is that skin that, that's just you should just be called Brett Weibold FRA. <laughs> yes. 
and Steam Man. Steam Man. Alrighty, yeah, I'm in a I'm in a good enough place to stop. All right, cool. I will save the game once again. Now we have all four uh, hopper cars in the same place. That's exciting. That's good. Whew. That time I expected it, Tyler. <laughs> Can't escape me. I, I mean, I can. I, I'll just end the server, and then I will have no. escaped. But I don't want to, because uh, you know, I, we need to make trading cards. Yes. We have uh, the whole narrow gauge stuff coming up soon, TM. Which I talk about a little bit, and then I don't talk about a little bit. Uh, I don't want to reveal what all's in it, necessarily, but I did go through a lot of that stuff while I was on stream. So, some people will remember, and some people just don't know. But uh, we'll see <laughs> you guys next week on the Bacon Line. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!